From the diary of Colonel Charlie Jensen, 30th of April 1915. I woke up in the hospital this morning, not in as much pain as before. The nurse come in and said I could go back to my trench. But I asked what about the bandage around my knee. She almost forgot about it. When she took it off there was a bullet hole in my knee. She said once again you can go now, so I did. I didn't really want to go back because it was a death trip, but I went anyway. It was weird. My comrade Dave LeMay wasn't there. I asked a soldier. He said that Dave got injured by shrapnel and his arm nearly got sliced open. I asked when he would be back, but my comrade didn't seem to know. I hoped that he would be back soon. The Gallipoli Diary of Rifleman Dave LeMay, 22nd of May, 1915. No generals came for me yesterday, so I sat on the beach all day. Today a general found me. He took me to a trench that we won from the Turks. I was glad I was finally reunited with one of my best friends. A whistle blew. Charles Robinson ran from the trench before bullets hit him. I screamed, No! I ran to the top of the trench, but before I could get above the trench, the soldiers grabbed me and pulled me back. I told them to let me go, but they refused. They said not until I calmed down. It was a terrible day. I was up next. The general sent all of us. The whistle blew. We all ran and finally killed some of the Turks and won their trench. This is the diary of John Allen, 26 April 1915. Our soldiers fought the enemy. It looks like soldiers' lives were wasted for no reason. Machine guns were firing bullets. The generals were giving out orders. The whistle blew. Men charged forward up the hill. I don't think they will be coming back. I said to myself, will they survive? We will say who came up with this ill-conceived idea. I realised now that there's worse things than dying, that this is no adventure at all. Grenades were thrown at the Turks. I was trembling with fear. My stomach dropped. Men must now be thinking this is not what I joined up for. At the end of the day, thousands are dead. Blood stained the ground. These memories you can't forget. Hospital ships were off the shore of Gallipoli and there were nearly more dead than alive.